else is not necessary unless you are thinking about my booty, bro. So that's all I got. All right, my name is Lauren Park. I'm relatively new to comedy, but I try my best to be funny my whole life. Simply because when I was younger, I read Maxim Magazine, and they said, if you make a girl laugh, she gets wet a little bit. So I thought, if I'm not going to be the finest brother on the block, I'm damn sure going to be the funniest one. So fellas, if you hear with your girl, Make sure you go home and tear that ass up, because I'm going to leave it splashy. Be sure of that, all right? <laughs> now, I just graduated from college, George Mason University. Yeah. Don't clap too hard. Don't have a job yet. If any of y'all are hiring, I a brother. I think it would all. But I, I dropped out of school and came back. And I dropped out after the year. And the toughest thing about that is they didn't want me back when I wanted to come back. It kind of felt like when you break up with a girl and then you try to get back with her. It was just like, ah, oh, so, uh, yeah, baby, I'm kind of feeling this again if you, wanna, if you wanna let me in. Hold up, nigga, all right. Let me see your credentials. So you let me win? Oh, okay, okay, all right, so, so what did you do when the time gone? Oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I went into the class at Nova just to keep my chats going. Oh, so you were with another bitch. Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else are you doing? I was like, you know, I'm working a little bit, but you know, it's kind of hard without the degree. I'm not yet. You know, you need me, nigga. Chapter two. Hold up, what is this? Nigga, you owe me money. What am I upset with that? What's going on with that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, nigga. I'll pay you back. So, they, after I paid them, they eventually let me back. But to really talk, the classes weren't the hardest thing. The toughest thing about college was, I didn't have a car until about six months ago. The very last damn semester. You know how hard it is to get a girl if you don't have, if you don't have a damn car? It's tough as shit. You sit there with conversations like this. Hello? <laughs> yeah, what's up, baby? No, I, I want to know if we're still good for uh, this Friday. Yeah, no one even worry about that. I got some ideas and things we could do. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you, you gonna need my address. <laughs> No, no, I don't Oh, oh yeah, you just remember it? Oh, that's cool, that's cool. I get it. Girls night, no, that's cool. All right, um, but, uh, what about Saturday? Oh, Saturday's girls night too? Well, damn, how many girls night that? End up living on the key bus room, come on, green too. Hello? Oh, damn. It's tough, it's tough out here. But when I got a car, it was all good. I was taking girls out here and there, but the problem is you take, you take girls out, you run into situations that you're not really ready for, like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna take you out and stuff, but I'm not gonna pay for you. I, just, I don't even know why you expected that. <laughs> Your purse is right there. Why are you not reaching for it? <laughs> you want me to reach for it? I got you, baby. Pass the stuff, pass the purse. Same thing, you know? But, you know, but when you pay for them, you do a little, couple of nice things, you come back to the house, you think you're ready to go. Oh, yeah, baby, I spent some money on you. Let's go. So you get back to the room, everything's real nice. You got the chill Gatorade and condoms on deck. You ready to go? <laughs> and you get to the make out, and then all of a sudden, you get to the grab, and the grab, and then all of a sudden, ugh, no. Ugh, no, really? You really gonna make a sex noise? <laughs> and then cut me off? I just don't know what to do. Off, on, off, on. It's like, come on, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm a habitual error <laughs> damn message on your computer. Like, I'm just gonna keep popping up. How much you wanna try? Just boop, 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 as much as you wanna say. I'm ready for you, you know what I mean? No. <laughs> I'm gonna get all sex, I'm gonna get all sex. But uh, my, my younger sister, she just had a baby. And the baby's just the cutest thing. And, but my sister, she a little ratchet, she a little extra. And I told her, I was like, please, please do not give that baby a ghetto ass name. Please don't give it a ghetto ass name. And I was sitting there thinking, names aren't really ghetto, it's all dependent on how you say it. Because a ghetto name could be very pretty. Like my, my niece's name, her name is Kasia Sarai. That could be very pretty. But I imagine 15, 6 year old Kasia Sarai be like, hi, my name is Kasia Sarai. <laughs> I can even share a little jigger for this stuff. Like, my name is Kasia Sarai, but you can call me Kiki. I'm running everything from Atlanta to my Kiki. I like my man Swart, but I don't like a Kiki. I like my man's dark, but you can take off that dashiki. Yeah, I'm Kiki. I'm Kiki. <laughs> my name is Lauren Fox. I'm sorry, I didn't even go on that note.
nasty motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you was a nasty motherfucker. <laughs>